Hi my dear children, hope you all are fine. Today we are going to learn about food. We all know the food is essential for us and all other living organisms. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about how food ingredients occurred and where does it come from. Children, did you eat same kind of food every day? No. We all eat different kinds of food at different times, isn't it? There is a lot of variation in the food eaten in different regions of the world. Children, do you know what are the ingredients of this food? First think about the rice cooked at the home. We take raw rice and boil it in the water. These two materials or ingredients are needed to prepare a dish of boiled rice. On the other hand, some food items are made with many ingredients. For example, to prepare a vegetable curry, we need different kinds of vegetable, salt, spices, oil and so on. And here we can find some ingredients are common. Then, what are the sources of these ingredients? Of course, plants. You may have seen paddy or wheat fields with rows and rows of plants, which gives us grains. And then, there are food items like milk, egg and meat, which come from animals. Here is a list of uh, some food and its ingredients and their sources. The first one, Italy. The source of ingredient is plant. Then next one, fish curry. The source of ingredient, animal. And then here, the source of ingredients, both animal and plant. Now we understand that plants are the source of food ingredients like grains, cereals, vegetables and fruits and animal provides us with milk, meat and eggs. Now we mentioned that plants are one source of our food, right? We can eat many parts of plants. We eat many leafy vegetables, we eat fruits of some plants, sometimes roots, sometimes stems and even flowers. And some plants have two or more edible parts. For example, seeds of mustard plants gives us oil and the leaves are used as a vegetable. Children. Here I am explaining another example. When we make a brinjal curry, the main ingredients are brinjal, chilli and oil. Here brinjal is the plant's fruit part and chilli also plant's fruit part. Then next we using oil. The oil we get from seeds that means plant's seeds part. For example from coconut, mustard or any other plant. Next we are going to talk about moon and its sprouts. It is very protein rich food. Then how do we get it? Take some dry seeds of moon and put a small quantity of seeds in a container filled with water and leave this aside for a day. Then next day, drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel. Wrap them with a piece of wet cloth and set aside. 
the following day we can see changes in the seeds a small white structure may have grown out of the seeds that means the seeds have sprouted okay after washing these sprouted seeds we can eat them everyone loves honey why because it is very sweet then do you know where honey comes from or how it is produced bees collect nectar from flowers and convert into honey and store it in their hive the flowers send their nectar may be available only for a part of the year so Bees store this nectar for the use all through the year. When we find such a beehive, we collect the food stored by the bees as honey. Including human being, there are so many animals around us. And Eating habit of each organism is different from each other. Some eat plant, some eat animal, and some eat both plant and animal. So, we can categorize them based on the eating habit. The animals which eat only plants are called herbivores. For example, cow, goat, deer. Then the next one, carnivores. Animals which eat only animals are called carnivores. For example, tiger, lion. Then omnivores, animals which eat both plants as well as other animals are called omnivores, for example squirrels, bear. Here is the list of some herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. Ok children, now we are concluding, so go through summary. There is a lot of variation in the food eaten in different regions of all over the world. The main source of our food are plants and animals. Animals which eat only plants are called herbivores. Animals which eat only animals are called carnivores. And Animals which eat both plants as well as other animals are called omnivores. Then I hope all of you understand this lesson. So please stay tuned for the next class. Thank you.